Well, good evening, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, you have the Rhino. We're looking at the last beer from the January edition of the Greener Futures Project from Bose, as shipped out by the Brew Box. This beer is a well, was a collab at one point with the man behind Reinhard Brewing, Jordan Reinhard. This is Le Cour Noir, or the Black Heart. Le Cour Noir. So 7.1% alcohol by volume. Over 60 IBUs. A black IPA by Bose. I'm excited to try this. Wow, that didn't look as black as I thought it was going to be when it first started pouring. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be black when it's all in the glass, but that first first little bit of pour did not look like it was going to be at all. Alrighty then. Bang. Bang, La Cour Noir. Ooh. Excuse me. Look at that head. Look at those bubbles. So those bubbles, nice mocha color. You can see the tunnels are forming. It's a slow fading head. Tunnels are forming everywhere, getting deeper and deeper. If we spin the beer around, you can see the same thing. They start really tiny and they slowly start getting bigger. Beer is black. Let's give her a sniff. All I can smell out of the glass is foam. Ugh. Okay, bottle comes off with some chocolate. Chocolate, coffee. Chocolate, coffee, a little bit of pine, and a little bit of grapefruit out of the bottle. Out of the glass, it was just like malt and foam. But there was a lot of head, so let's try it. Cheers. Hmm. Later than I expected it to be. I'd say it's medium to, uh, yeah, I'd just say medium. Medium to maybe medium heavy, but I think just medium. And so, like a medium body beer. Very flavorful, but just lighter than I thought it would be. Lighter on the palate than I expected it to be myself. Uh, went down fairly easily, but I mean, how many liquids do not go down fairly easily? be honest most beers can be put down fairly easily even if you don't like them there's a nice dark malt and chocolate flavor to the forefront very malty very chocolatey fades into a uh, Slightly green, slightly piney, and uh, slightly grapefruity hoppiness, which finishes on a slightly roasty and slightly piney finish. So it's like it, it's it is like the uh, the malts. If you're wondering, it's a screwdriver. I was changing batteries in my daughter's dolls. Um, it reminds me of a, it actually is the proper, proper black IPA in my mind, because it's like a, it's almost like an American stout, it's very hoppy, and it's hopped with, with pine and grapefruit notes, like some citrus notes and some piney notes, 
and I mean I get that chocolate I get that chocolate and malt taste up at the forefront but I get a deep roastiness at the back end which is where a lot of my bitterness is coming from mixed with that mixed with that uh, that pininess so all in all this actually works really well and it's 7.1 percent alcohol I would say you couldn't really tell it could mess you up there's I I really enjoy this beer And I mean, Bose used to be one of my favorite breweries. I, I shouldn't say used to be. They still are one of my favorite breweries. I just don't think they put out uh, as much in-your-face innovative stuff now as they used to. But they've gotten bigger now where they have to keep a, a much bigger, wider market happy. So I understand what happened. I mean, I, I wish them all the best and they're doing great and they have great success. And I still enjoy their beer quite a bit. But this kind of reminds me of beers of old. Uh, more in your face, more flavorful than some stuff. Like, it, it's not, I should say, it's not like the Tom Green beer or that peppermint porter they put out or stuff. Where it's kind of, it just kind of seems to be dumbed down for the masses. This still has a lot of flavor. I don't know if that's because Jordan had anything to do with it or it was just what they were doing. But I mean, even the other two barrel aged beers they had out for this pack and the Tyrannosaurus Gruid and stuff. They all seem to be a return to old form. And for that, I'll give them two thumbs up. Uh, out of 10 on this beer, I would give this an 8.5 out of 10. I really do enjoy it. I would buy it on the, on the regular. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Le Cour Noir or the Black Heart. Bye bye.